Hi, Pack Kids, preschool families. It's so good that you're watching with us today. I'm missing Daffodil. She is on a special mission. Today we're on the fruit of the spirit, self-control. I have a special story for you today and Daffodil will be there to watch with you. I want you to think, what does self-control mean? It's having control of your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions. In today's story, we're gonna learn about Zacchaeus. Now, he had a problem of stealing, but then he met Jesus, and Jesus changed his heart that he didn't want to steal again. To have self-control, not to steal, Zacchaeus would need a new heart and a new attitude that's just what Jesus gave him. All right, enjoy the story with Daffodil. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hi, everybody. I'm here at the church with my friend Cameron and Charlotte, and they're going to read the story of Zacchaeus, and I'm so excited. Are, are you guys ready? Are you ready? <gasps> you are? Oh, yay, here we go, here we go. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, okay. Zacchaeus was rich, very, very rich. His job was to collect money for taxes from everyone in town. But Zacchaeus took more money than he was supposed to no. and kept the extra money for himself. The people didn't like Zacchaeus one bit. One day, Jesus came to town Everyone wanted to see Jesus because they heard how he could heal the sick and make blind people see. Wow. Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus too, mm -hmm. but he was too small to see over the crowd. Aww. Mm -hmm. So Zacchaeus ran in head of the crowd and climbed up in a tree. As Jesus came closer, <gasps> And closer, <gasps> Zacchaeus' heart began to pound. Then Jesus looked right at him and said, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down. I must stay at your house today. Wow. Zacchaeus was so excited. Jesus wanted to come to his house. He hurried down from the tree and ran right home to prepare a meal. For Jesus, the people in the crowd began to mumble and complain. They didn't like Zacchaeus, mm -mm. and they didn't want Jesus to go to his house. Mm -mm. But Jesus knew that Zacchaeus was sorry for all the bad things he did. God's love changed Zacchaeus, and he promised to give back all the money he'd taken. What? Wow. Right away, Zacchaeus started giving people back the money he'd stolen. If he'd taken one bag of coins, he'd give back four. The people were amazed and happy that Zacchaeus had turned to, had learned to do what was right. Zacchaeus was glad too. Wow. The end. <gasps> wow, that was such a great story. Story. Jesus, Jesus loved Zacchaeus so much, and Jesus forgave him of stealing all that money, and and Zacchaeus promised never to steal money again. That's that's such a happy story. Thank you, Cameron and Charlotte, for reading our story today. You guys did so good. It was so awesome. So, oh, oh, bye, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.